Why, hello everybody, Lego Dude 11 here, and I apologize for my setup here. As you can see, this is my background I have that I use to record videos, and as of now, it's working okay. It was working well for some videos, but this one isn't the best. Some of my set reviews are going to be weird like this because you're going to see the back of or the edges of my wall, which is not okay, which is not bad, but regardless, today we're going to look at set number, I forget the set number, um, I don't really care about the set number, but, um, today is the Mandalorian set review, and this comes with four minifigures and retails for, I think, 50 bucks in the United States, I'm not entirely sure about Canadian prices at the moment, just because I'm not, I don't live in Canada, and that's not really my concern, so if you guys, uh, in the near future, of doing these set reviews, I would like to, um, like, if I live on my own and, like, get better at YouTube and whatnot, I would like to figure out, like, the prices and to tell you guys that, but right now, I just like to review the set and show you guys the actual detail and whatnot, so today, we're going to take a look at the Mandalorian set, we're going to take a look at the minifigs first, as usual, and then the actual build, so this is one of my favorite, um, Star Wars sets ever, um, Probably, well, just because I like the Mandalorian show in general. So, let's get to work and let's get to the minifigs. So, up first is this first guy. Uh, I think this is the, called like the Mataclorian or Cladaclorian uh, warrior or soldier um, or like goon or something. And along those lines, and uh, he's very cool. So, basically what I did, I think both of them have the same outfit. No, this guy, this guy is the outfit that I use for... Uh, the Ugnaught guy. Uh, so in the future, after this set review, or I think uh, in a couple videos after this one, you'll see my how to build the uh, Kui, like Kui or Kuehl from the Mandalorian, however you say his name, Kuehl, um from the Mandalorian, the Ugnaught. So that's pretty cool. He comes with these two little guns here, and he comes with this helmet piece, and then he has the same type of shorter pad used for the Outriders from in, uh, Infinity War slash Endgame and sets, and he has this cool printed head, he has nothing on the back there, but it, it doesn't really matter, because if you put the helmet on, it kind of covers up the back of the head there, so that's cool, he has this cool strap there, nothing on the back of the legs, but stuff on the front of the legs, it's the same um, printed as the other guy. And then the torso is a little bit different than, than the other one. So I'll show you the other guy now. I'll just put him back up there where he goes in the ATST. By the way, guys, the name of the set is the ATST -AT Raider. Uh, I did not mention that. But now this guy, the other Cladacorian uh, soldier or warrior, has this gun here with a little brown lightsaber p uh, handle on the end. And this guy comes with the same exact head print, same exact leg print. Uh, the back is a little bit different. Uh, the torso is all different than the other guy, but uh, the he has the Ultron, Ultron Prime head, uh, uh, like neck piece, neck attachment. So I think I find that cool that uh, it's uh, used using a different using a neck attachment in a different way. So that's the same. That's the only thing different about him. The torso is different. The neck attachment is different, and the gun as as well. So uh, next up, we're going to take a look at the. Uh, awesome female um, acquaintance of the Mandalorian TV show, and her name is Cara Dune, and she's actually quite, uh, I, wouldn't, I don't know if I would consider her a badass, but she is a quite a uh, accessible um, character to the team, uh, I guess an asset to the team as well, and I can't wait to see how her character is portrayed in season two, but uh, we get uh, this nice rifle gun and a uh, gray lightsaber piece added to the end, and then she she has this, the, I think this hair kind of works well, I don't know if there would be a better one to use in the show, but I think this one works really well for Cara Dune, she has this face expression where she's smiling, and I think a second one, right, yeah, that's what I thought, so she has a second one right there where she's kind of like angry or peeved or something, and then push the hair down, she has this exclusive torso print as well as exclusive leg print, which I really find that quite uh, accurate to the show, I think, and then some back printing as well, so I, th I find that really cool, I love that character, Cara Dune, and in real life, it looks sweet, next up, we're going to take a look at the Mandalorian himself, and I'm really disappointed with no face print, but, you know, what are you going to do, 
and uh, we may get a face print in uh, season two sets or season or the I'm saying the next wave of Mandalorian sets because there's only been one set so far. We have this papery cape, which uh, unlike Jonathan Pushkar, many superheroes today, I don't really have an opinion about the capes. I just like them regardless. We have this awesome back printing. Uh, I love the gun, by the way, that they use. It's kind of like a grapple gun with this clip piece. And uh, I love the outfit, by the way, or the helmet, by the way. Some people were saying that they're uh, really annoyed by uh, the Mandalorian armor because it doesn't, the minifigure, because it doesn't come with the minifig armor or the armor, uh, Beskar steel. Uh, but I find it okay. I love the torso printing. I love the leg printing. It looks great. Uh, this was one of my favorite. This was one of my top ten minifigs of 2019. So go check out the post on Instagram if you don't, if you're not following me there. Why aren't you? Uh, a lot of good stuff on there. Um, so uh, yeah, go check that out. Uh, the top the one of my posts. Uh, I think like the third most recent post or something was uh, maybe not third, but like the fifth. One was, uh, recently was uh, my top 10 favorite characters of 2019, Lego minifigures of 2019. So now we're going to take a look at the build of the set here. We're going to take a look at the ATST Raider, or the ATST. Let's take the minifig out that's up here. It's the one Cladicorian guy. So. So this thing is pretty cool. Um, I don't know how I'm going to really review this, but uh, we'll see, because... Here we go, so, nuts. That's not good. Where did this go? This goes right here, I think. Is that where it goes? Uh, I don't know where this went. I think it goes right here. There we go. Might do something like that. I don't know. I'll have to check. But uh, I'm lost, and I don't know where that piece went. But regardless, I'm going to move the camera back a bit and show you what this thing looks like. So basically, um, I'm just going to show you. So basically, you have this right here. This can open up. And this, open, this top opens up here. And what you get inside is, I'm sorry for the lighting, but uh, you get this little gun piece right there and this seating arrangement right there and then I thought this opens up, but I don't think it does these pieces, uh, as you can see, this moves right here, these little missile pieces and this kind of moves I thought this could move, but I don't think it does, I don't think these, I don't think these move and then this leg mm -hmm. <clears throat> this leg is all red and this leg's all brown, as you can see. I think they move, but I'm not entirely sure. There's red missiles here. Um, there's a red missile right there and on the other side as well. So you can shoot them out uh, right there. It's very wobbly, too. That's one of my complaints about this set. There's a, a red missile there and a red missile there. You just, use them, you just shoot them out the side, so like right there. And then I don't really want to shoot them, but I could if I wanted to. Now, let me see. Let me try. Yeah, no, it's not coming. But, uh, so yeah, this leg was a little bit, one of the legs was tricky to put together, but I figured it out. Because, like, this this whole thing, like, right here was really confusing me. Like, this part right here. But I finally figured it out. Um, I know I'm, like, trying to be an expert with Lego here. But, um, so here's the back of it. Here's this little knob thing. There's some stickers right there. Um, I'm trying to get a better setup, by the way. I know this is, like, really weird. I'm moving the camera up and down, but... And then, uh... So, yeah, this... this The back is really not really good, but... Uh... The front is, like, where all the stickers are, as you can see. And there's some, like, whip pieces right here. Or, like, wires. And then, I think I like this better than the Rogue One. It's just really detailed and kind of, like, rusty looking. Um, I like the stickers right there. The sticker de designs are really cool. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And uh, we get some stickers up there. Um, there's a little trap door. There's a little trap door for the people. And then we can move this up and down. So that's pretty cool. But uh, 
Yeah, so we have a missile right there. We have missiles right there and something right there. And then the, the, the red shooting missiles right there. So it's really cool. I like this ATST. I think, better than the uh, Rogue One, even though I don't have Rogue One. Um, want the the set, um, I think this one's really, uh, really stands out. By the way, guys, there's some pieces over here I didn't show you. Here's the side over there. Some stickers. This piece right there. This little shield. That sticker. And then that right there. There's a sticker right there. And there's that side. So I'm sorry I didn't show you all that. But, uh, there you go. That is pretty much the whole set for you. Let me move this back. And then let me round out this set by giving you my final thoughts of the set. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's do this thing. So thanks for watching, guys. This set review on... This was the Mandalorian set ATST Raider, and I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel Lego Dude 11 if you have not already. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel Lego Dude 11, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Master. And don't forget to uh, head over to my Discord. Uh, Deep Sheep Bricks can uh, show you guys what that can tell you guys what that is in the comments below. If Deep Sheep Bricks is watching this video. That'd be highly appreciated, DP Sheep Bricks, if you could tell everyone what my Discord is um, in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow me. Don't forget to keep calm and play Lego. Bye, everyone.